Hi, George here with another Photoshop Elements project for beginners. And I've been getting a lot of questions recently about brushes and gradients and shapes and different elements inside of Photoshop Elements. In this video, I'll be showing you where you can find brushes to download for free and how to install those brushes into Photoshop Elements. Plus, I'll be showing you how you can actually make your own custom brushes right inside of Photoshop Elements. But before we get to that, just wanted to remind you that this channel is 100% fan supported. It's through your generosity and help that I can keep this channel going here on YouTube. And there are three things you can do to help. The first one, of course, is to subscribe. Right now, I'm just over 72,000 subscribers. If I can get this channel to 100,000 subscribers, that puts me into a new category on YouTube, and I'll make a lot more money from the YouTube ads, and that alone could keep the channel going. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's going to be a huge, huge difference in keeping this channel on YouTube. The second one is if you enjoy this video, if this video helps you out at all, then consider sending a thanks. There's a thanks button right down there, bottom right-hand corner. Just click on that and make a small donation. All those donations really do help keep this channel going. And finally, the main source of income for this channel is from people purchasing my training for Photoshop Elements. And you can find out more about that by going to the link in the description and taking a look at the different training courses I have for Photoshop Elements. Okay, let's now take a look at where you can find brushes for free here. And the site that I normally use is called DeviantArt. We're here right now. And I have a free account for this right there. So there's no cost to actually use this and to get the brushes. And this is a social site for artists, graphic designers, and so forth. There's a lot of interesting stuff in here. A lot of artists showcase what they do right here on DeviantArt. And if you want to find some brushes, just go up here to search and type in Photoshop brushes. Hit the Enter key and you get a whole bunch of brushes in here. Now, a lot of these brushes are offered for free by the brush designers. Some of them they're asking for a little bit of a cost on that, so take a look and see if there is a cost or not, but in most cases, these are actually free and they're great brushes. Let's just take a look at some of the options in here. Go over here to this first one, Water Reflections. Click on this one, really nice looking brushes. There's three different brushes, and you come right down here, and you see a download right there, free download, so there's no cost to this brush. Okay, let's go back again. We'll take a look at another one. Here's a real nice set of canvas brushes. This could be really nice if you're trying to make something look like it was actually painted. Same thing, roll over the download button and see what it says, free download. Let's go back again here. Now scroll down a bit. I tend to like these kind of brushes over here and this kind of brush. Some of these have more brushes, some have less. You can see there's a whole lot of brushes in here. Let's take a look at this one. Nice variety of brushes in here. Again, come down, roll over that download button free download. Let's go ahead and download this one. Click on free download. And then I have a folder on my computer that I just named Photoshop brushes. And I save my brush sets in here. And these come down as an ABR file. That's an Adobe brush file. And these can be used inside of Adobe Photoshop elements, even though they say they're for Photoshop. Just click on save. We've now downloaded that brush. All right, let's go over to Photoshop elements. Here we go. We're inside of Photoshop elements. Let me just change the color here to black in the foreground. Grab the paintbrush. And then come down here where it says brush. Click on that. This will bring up this list. And here's your different brush sets that are currently installed. There's a lot of brushes in here already. Let's take a look at our new one. Go to this little button right there. Click on that button. Brings up a pop-up. And then come down here to load brushes. And we're going to go to that folder where we downloaded that brush. Here we go. And here is that brush. Now, sometimes brushes will be in a zip file, in which case just unzip the file you find a folder and the brush will be in the folder. In this case, it's just all by itself like that. Click on that, choose load. It then loads in that brush set. And here we go, there's all those different brushes inside this brush set. As I said, a nice, interesting variety of brushes inside of this one. You'll also notice that these are pretty large size brushes, 2000 pixels, real large size. That's usually the case with these free download brushes. They're very big, so they can get a lot of detail in there, much bigger than the brushes that you normally find inside of Photoshop Elements. But you can easily resize these, get them just where you want. Let's just take a look at that one right there. Hold over here, you can see the outline of the brush. That's too large for a piece of paper. So I'll click out here and then go to the brush size. We're bring the brush size down to about 50. Okay, that's looking better. So you can adjust your brush size right here as you would normally adjust a brush size. Of course, I also can use the left square bracket or right square bracket to change your brush size. And there are two ways of using brushes. One is just to click and it stamps the brush. I do this a lot if I'm doing a distressed kind of picture. Otherwise, to click and drag, and then that paints with the brush. So it depends upon how you want to use it. I normally use these downloaded brushes as stamps. 
and then control Z here, just do back out of that. There we go. And once you're here, you can do more things with this. You can, of course, change your brush color. Let's just find something nice in blue. Stamp that in, there it is in blue. Come down to brush settings right here. And you can adjust the spacing. That's if you're pulling it across like that, that's how far apart each one goes. If you get real large spacing, you get things stamped across. Scatter is going to move them around as you pull it across. Huge order is going to be changing your hue and fade will fade it out. Let's see how that works. Let's just close that down. I'll just do control Z and back out of those two things. Let's bring this down a bit in size. It's the left square bracket. I'll put it right about there. And let's do one stamp right there. There we go. Okay, so let's bring the fade all the way up. Let's bring the hue jitter all the way to the top. Let's bring scatter about halfway up and I'll put spacing. And notice right down here, you see how that looks. That gives you some sense of what's going to be happening in here. So there we go. A little bit of spacing, a bit more scatter. Huge jitter clear to the top and fade. Let's now go over to the left-hand side and I'll give this a green color over here. So we have a green to blue color difference. And it's going to be changing the color between those two settings. So let's come in here and I'll just pull like that. And there we go. So that's the scatter happening. That's why they're spaced apart. The hue shift in there is random. The whole thing is random. It's a real nice way of using a brush and making a random setting. Also down here, you have this angle. What I usually do is come in, do an angle shift like that, do a little painting, come down, do another angle shift like this, a little more painting, and so forth. And that gives you some variation in the way that the brush is sitting there. Now let's make sure that we can save this brush and this brush set. Go over here, and we just open this up. It's going to be showing at the bottom of the list. It won't necessarily always be here. When you close down and reopen again, Photoshop Elements may reset that list. You may no longer see that. Now, it's not a big deal. If you put your brushes where you know they are, all you have to do is just go over here, click on this, and then load in your brushes. Okay, let's now see how you can make a custom brush here inside of Photoshop Elements. And what I'll do is I'll change this over to the default brushes right here. Set our colors back to black in the foreground, white in the background. Let's close this down. I'm not going to save that. Let's make a new file. File new, blank file. Let's set this at custom and I'll set it at pixels. And I'll make this one 1500 by 1500. Choose OK. And it gives you a square image right here. Now notice I'm still on that brush that I had chosen before. So I'll find something down here from the default brush set. I'm just using the scroll wheel on my mouse right now. Let's grab one of these things in here. Real small brush. I use the right square bracket key to bring this up larger. Let's put a spot here, a couple spots in here, you know, a spot up in here. Let's rotate that around a little bit and do some more here. I'm just doing a kind of a grunge brush. There we go. And rotate that around again a bit more. And just a bit more of this, maybe some stuff off to the edges. So I'm staying away from the actual edge. You don't want to be going over the edge like that. So make sure you stay away from that edge. But this should work out just fine for you. Okay, there we go. It's just kind of a, a random grungy looking brush in here. So now I want to save this as a brush. So I can then use it as a brush. Go up here to edit. Come down to define brush right here. You can give it a name. I'm just going to call this one grunge one. Choose okay. And you see there it's now a brush. It's actually in here as a brush. Let's just see that more easily. I'll make a new layer in here. Here's a new layer. Let me just switch over to the paint bucket here. And let's fill that layer with white. Back to our brush set. There is that grunge brush, exact size. I'll then use the left square bracket, bring that down. Let's change our color here to black in the foreground. And I can then stamp with that brush or I can paint with that brush. And of course I have all my brush options right down here as well. So here you go. There is a custom brush that we just made. Now, if you don't want to lose your custom brush, Come down here again. It comes in at the bottom of the default brush set. So over here is a little window. Come down to save brushes. We're going to save it back into that same location again. And again, I'll just give this one a new name right here. And I'll call it with grunge brushes. Choose save. And now it's saved right in that location. So if I go back here, go up here to this little button right there. Come down to load brushes. It takes you back into the last location that you worked in. And there it is, there's our new save brush set right there. So very easy, as you can see, to create your own brushes inside of Photoshop Elements and then save those out to a new brush set. Now make sure you do that, make sure you save a new brush set just in case Photoshop Elements decides to reset and you lose that brush. So very important step if you're making custom brushes. Now, if you found this video useful, why don't you consider sending me a thanks 
and that's the thanks button right down there below the bottom right hand corner of the video. That really helps keep this channel going here on YouTube. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Very important to do that. And also, if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training courses. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.